Welcome back to the latest installment of this dev vlog where I am building a real-time strategy game in Unity. So, this is a pretty interesting update for myself. Up until now, I've been essentially building a single-player game. However, all of the great real-time strategy games out there are multiplayer. Think Warcraft, Starcraft, Command & Conquer, Age of Empires, that kind of thing, right? Those games are most popular because they're played online. Or at least, that's my opinion. So... For my prototype game here, I wanted to start exploring what would networking look like in my game. So I considered a few different solutions to start digging in there. A lot of people that have done Unity networking are familiar with Mirror. There's also Photon. There are the few solutions that are provided by Unity specifically that are built into the engine. However, I recently have learned about and become more familiar with a solution called Coherence. Now, if you want to learn more about Coherence, you can head over to Coherence.io. I'll link their website in the description of this video. However, we won't be digging in too deep to Coherence ex itself in this video. We'll mainly be just talking about what I did to my game and maybe a little bit about where it, it played its part. So, if we see uh, right now, I'm running two instances of my game. I'm running client A and client B. Now, these clients can now be networked in a, in a match. So to get into a match first, we have to create a lobby on one client and then join the lobby on the other client. So I've created this kind of basic or rudimentary lobby system. So on client A here, let's create or click create lobby. And that's going to go ahead and create a lobby. We'll see that we've generated a UUID for the lobby. And we're going to create the lobby in region A. This is all using coherence to do um, the room creation or the lobby creation. However, we're not using Coherence's upcoming lobby system or their lobby service or anything like that. We're just using what's available from Coherence right now, which is the ability to create a room and then add a simulator to that room. And if you're not familiar with the, to the concepts or the, the vocabulary there, a simulator is essentially a headless version of your game that you can run in Coherence's cloud. So my simulator that I've written is able to run the game, so run a match with two people playing, as well as run a very simple rudimentary lobby. So now that we have our lobby created on client A, we can go over to client B here, do lobby browser, and it's going to load all of the rooms that are available to us. We see that one of those options is 8.3f, 8.3f on both screens, we know that's the right lobby. Let's join the lobby. So now I have both players in the lobby. What you can do is ready up, and then, oh, looks like the not ready button is not working. I'll have to fix that. However, you can ready up into the room. And then if I go over to the other uh, client here and click ready up, the lobby will identify that all of the players in the lobby are now ready to play. And what it will do is it will send an RPC message to each client telling them, hey, everybody's ready. Load the game screen or the multiplayer scene. And then you'll see that both clients jumped into that scene here. Additionally, what you'll notice is that when the game started for each client is we moved the camera to look at the base for that particular client so here on the left I'm the yellow team and here on the right I'm the green team and if we kind of move the camera back we'll see that really they're right next to each other but that's not how it would be in the real game um, but the cool thing now is that each of these entities here so the yellow entity and the, the green entity are networked so let's click our yellow guy over here and move him over here to the green. And we'll see that while there was like a slight kind of delay there, for the most part, once you get past that initial movement command that has some delay to it, things are pretty smooth. And we see that I'm issuing commands to my yellow unit here on the left, and we see those updating on the right screen on client B. Additionally, we have this concept of uh, state authority or input authority. So the left client is the yellow team and the right client is the green team. So if I'm on the left client, I can't click on or control the green player or the green units. And the way I'm using the, uh, facilitating that is through a concept called input authority, which is a coherence concept built into their, their framework. So if we go over here on my right screen, click on the green unit, I can move him around and we see him moving around on both clients. So that's great. I'm really excited to kind of get to this point. It's really, really early, and it's really, really, like, kind of fundamental, right, to be able to see two entities moving around on the screen. However, up until this point, I could only play, you know, with one client. 
I couldn't see any entities moving around. So for me, this is really exciting. Uh, I'm really enjoying working on this prototype. And thus far, up until this point, I've really enjoyed working with coherence or using the coherence framework to implement my networking model. So we'll, we'll see where this goes. Thanks for watching. Before I go, I wanted to give a quick shout out to thumbnailtest.com. Thumbnailtest.com is a solution that I've been pretty interested in checking out for a while. If you're not familiar with A-B testing, thumbnailtest.com allows you to do quick A-B testing of your titles and thumbnails on YouTube. Now, why is A-B testing important? Well, A-B testing kind of lets you figure out which titles or which thumbnails or which other content might resonate best with your users. Anybody that's worked in the tech industry or maybe in gaming even has probably had some experience with A-B testing and it's a great way to figure out what would give you the best bang for your buck or give you the best results for your efforts. So I'm personally excited about thumbnailtest.com. I'm going to be trying it out soon and I wanted to give them a quick shout out in this video. Thanks again for watching.